Joining me remotely is Marvin Ellison, the current CEO and chairman of Lowe's Home Improvement Stores and one of the only six black CEOs in the Fortune 500. Well, Marvin, what's up? Thank you, man, for being here. Hey, Damon, it's, a, it's an honor and a, and a privilege to be with you today. You're the chairman, president, and chief executive officer of Lowe's, a Fortune 50 company. Tell us a bit about your background. How did you get to this point? I was a part-time $4.35 an hour employee working for Target while I was going to college wow. at the University of Memphis. Uh, and I was fortunate to, to land uh, in a company that believed in developing people. And I just grinded it out for 15 years, all the way up to a director level. And then I had a chance to get into home improvement and really enjoy the space uh, but also it opened my mind up to the possibilities of what I could be. And one of the things I figured out was because I didn't have a, a great pedigree, I, I didn't have an Ivy League education, I, I didn't have you know, any stellar you know, international opportunities or stints on my resume and I'm competing against all of these you know, exceptionally talented people on paper, I had to find a way to differentiate myself in a way I did that was taking every tough assignment nobody else wanted. Really? It's like take out these tough jobs and in areas where the previous leader had gotten fired for performance or in areas where they never performed well, that became my MO. I'm going to take the job no one else wants and I'm going to hope that I can get in there, build a good team and turn it around and hopefully that opens up other opportunities. And but you believe that no matter what, you're going to be able to out hustle and outwork anybody, whatever color they are. There's, there's only six black CEOs um, in the Fortune 500, and that, that's just 1% of business um, on the 2022 ranking, and, and you're one of those six. What does it mean to you to sit at that level? I have mixed emotions. On one hand, I feel incredibly privileged and blessed to be in this role because it gives me a chance to hopefully be a positive role model and also to cr create a pathway for other people who look like me and you to get an opportunity in the future. On the other hand, I'm really disappointed that in 2022, we still have such a significant gap in the, in the capability that exist out there, you know, and the opportunities of, of individuals that look like me to be in a role like this. So I know that, that I am a representative of positive change, meaning that if I can do a great job in this role of delivering on all the things that matter to me, the customer experience, the employee experience, impacting the community, thus driving value for the shareholder, then maybe there's a board of directors or maybe there are decision makers that's gonna look at me and understand the value in having diverse-minded CEOs that may have an untraditional path. And, and I know you are wanting to change the landscape of corporate America as well. You know, can you tell us about any programs that you or Lowe's uh, have been doing to help bring some of these people up the ladder or highlight them? Uh, and so the first initiative was, you know, talk less and do more. Right. So I didn't get out and do a lot of talking about this. We just wanted to, I just wanted to fix it. And so we didn't go out and make some big public announcement. I didn't do a series of interviews. I didn't put any, you know, white papers out. I just said, we're going to fix this by making it a priority. And we put internal systems in place to do that. And now that we we're doing that, we now have internal developmental processes. So we can find the next, you know, Damon John, the next Marvin Ellison out there that, that may not be the conventional candidate based on the background you would look at. And we, and we have identified what we call core leadership behaviors that we train people on and we get them developed. So now we're creating this pipeline of talent, you know, throughout the organization not based on what your resume looks like, but based on your results and your leadership characteristics and what you do every day. That's a, a transitional change for us, and, and I think it's delivering you know, the leaders we need. And in addition, and you know this, we are out there doing things to create opportunities for minority entrepreneurs, suppliers, to have a chance to put their products on the shelf, you know, both in-store and online, of a $100 billion retailer, you know, to get to get access to a broad customer base with, with a series of initiatives and programs that we work on on an ongoing basis. And, and, you know, and so I'm very passionate about it because, again, I understand the importance of access 
an opportunity, and that's what we're trying to do here. Dreams, what would you say to people who want to be listed with Lowe's and have that approach where they have a better level of not only getting on the shelves, but a better level of success? I'll give you just a couple of basic ones. Number one, make sure you're solving a problem for a customer. At the end of the day, the products that work best are products that either serve or solve a customer problem. And we're in the home improvement business, so in our space, when you come in, I tell people we're either trying to create a dream or solve a problem for right. a customer when uh -huh. they come in. So, so think about it in those terms. The second thing is make sure you plan for success because you and I have seen this many times. Somebody will have a good product idea, but then if they get a, a order of 10,000 units, they can't produce it. They haven't thought through all the necessary steps, you know, beyond the product itself. They hadn't thought through the production of units. They hadn't thought through the logistics. They hadn't thought through the ability to get something positioned to put it online. And, and so think through the entire process of not only just a product, but, but plan for someone saying to you, I love this, I need X number right. of units. And then if that statement is made, then are you prepared? Yeah. To, to execute on that because that is the difference between you know having product on the shelf and, and, and being passed over because you can't meet a simple request. And the other thing is educate yourself. There is just a treasure trove of information online where you can understand exactly what you need to do and how you need to prepare yourself, your product, your business, your entrepreneurial idea to expand and grow. So do the work do the research so when you come in, you're as educated as possible on what needs to be done and you're not dependent upon the company being able to tell you what they need. Because you and I both know we do that as a service and, mm -hmm. we, and we do it because we're trying to mentor and develop. But in the real world of business, we don't want to have to coach somebody on what you need to do to get product on the shelf. You should know that when you walk in the door and, and be prepared for that because Every company is not going to be willing to coach you and guide you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. And thank you for Lowe's and all of your associates that show up every single day.